and after she comes, we're going to have a selection from the voices of faith. Amen. And I must say again, I think that would be. I must say, I think Brother Jerome, Minister Jerome, for inviting me to come. Right. Happy to be here. Never been here before in my life. I don't think I've ever been to Belton. I don't think. My son, my son played football at Belton Honey Path. We from Greer, but he played at Belton Honey Path. And I don't know whether I came through here or not. I went to Honey Path. But I know we died this way some of it, because the name is Belton Honey Path. So. But we just thank God for being here. And it's just a beautiful place. Amen. Beautiful spirit. Amen. And the pastors, beautiful lady. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we just thank God today. Hope we hope we uh, behave ourselves in a, in, a, in a manner that we you wouldn't mind us coming back. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But He is good, and He's just worthy to be praised. So right here, I'm giving it to her. Amen. Let's give our hands to the Lord. Let's give it to her. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give it on the chin. Okay, so. Let's give God a hand for this great. Not ready for the day. Amen. He always go out and he meets new people. And I'm just one of us going to be alike today. But it's a blessing to see. But it's like, you know, and she's a lady that seems like you tell she loves the Lord. Amen. She reminded some of those pastors around Greenville. Long time ago, we used to work with and be around. Amen. Thank God for her beautiful daughter. Beautiful spirit in the Lord. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Praise God. We praise and thank him. Amen. For our minister more heads, who's going to be bringing the word today. He's always sitting around, setting up something to do. Something for the church. And praise God. We thank God for his spirit. Amen. In him, because he loves the Lord. We're just a few in the, in the number. We thank God that somebody wants to go to work. Amen. Be about the Father's business. There's work to do if we all would just step up and just step out. Thank God for seeing um. Brother Ren today, praise God. Now the man of God, uh, Brother Mohead, he's a young man that I said, both stated he loved the Lord, he loved to work, he do. And we thank God for him, amen. People come and go, but he's still standing. Right. Amen, we praise God for that. Somebody say, I'm just like a tree, I'm planted by the rivers of water, and I shall not be moved. Glory be to God. You guys know how the storm cloud may rise, the storm wind may blow. Oh, God, let me say, I'm your Savior. Glory to God. Let him sleep in the Amen. He has some rough um, times coming up through the years. And yes. Things he tell about sometimes he was in schools and upside But he still stood the test of time. Yes. Amen. And we thank God because he will preach and he loved to preach. Yes. Amen. Amen. She kind of on Sunday morning, you don't have to. You know, sometimes you had preachers or. Uh, you ask you bring the word, they, they get to looking funny, acting funny, dry, Amen. quit talking, change the attitude and smile. But he said, yes, ma'am, I can say something. <laughs> I just love that spirit. Amen. He had a hard time coming up with the devil, tried to kill him, and he was just a little boy. Amen. The devil said he wouldn't be here. He wouldn't live to get to be but just a few years old. But amen, I told him Thanksgiving, I texted him a little note that I was telling him. I, I praise God for him and thank God for him. Yes. Amen. These 26 years, praise God, amen. he's still going strong. Amen. Ain't nobody mad but to them. Glory be to God. We appreciate him. And before he come, the voice of faith will come and render a selection or so. And the next voice will be none other than Mr. Jerome Moorhead. Amen. I'm going to try my best. My voice is trying to get out on me, but I'm going to do what I can do. Amen. Amen. Oh, open door. Oh.
In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Have your way. Come on, tell somebody, say, have your way, Lord. Again, groaning in himself, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time, this is a stench. For he has been dead four days. Somebody say four days. Four days. Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he who had died came out bound hand and foot with great clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said unto him, Loose him and let him go. We're gonna you may be seated. We're gonna use for a topic or a subject tonight. It's time to get up from the grave. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's time to get up from the grave. Now y'all can say it like you mean it. Touch your neighbor, go to somebody else, say, neighbor, it's time to get up from the grave. Come on and put your hands together and give God some praise. When Jesus had heard this man was sick for four days, that's a long time to be dead. And he was growing in himself. He came to the tomb. There was a cave. And a stone laid against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. So Jesus removed the stone and went in the stone and began to pray and speak life over this young man. He said, Lazarus, come forth. When God speaks, you must believe. Can I get a witness? So Lazarus got up. How many know he got up with the help of God's hand? Can I get a witness? I come to tell somebody that you're in a dead situation. It looks like you can't seem to find your way out. But I come to tell you it's time to let loose. And it's time to let God have his way. Can I get a witness? It seems like so much is going on around us. Can I get a can I talk to you? It seems like people are dying on every hand. Just a few days ago in Ferguson, there was a man shot and killed, but and, and everybody was going crazy and doing riots and everything. But God still saw us through. Can I get a witness? They decided they want to break into buildings and do everything that they could in a right. But I came to tell you that there is a God somewhere. All we need is keep and just have faith because God will see us through. Is there anybody know that sometimes we have to go through in order to get to? We have to go through things in our life and we might be wrapped up and tied up and tangled up and don't know which way to turn. But I came to tell you about the grace of God. I'm still here. I wish I had a witness. By the grace of God, I'm still alive. I'm still standing because of his mercy. I wish I had a witness. Anybody can say that he loosed that man and let him go. He might have felt dirty and when he got up. God said, come forth. Get up. He said, loose him and let him go. I believe he was loose from, from sin, shame, and iniquity. How many have ever been down and out and they feel like you was dead and feel like there was no God nowhere? But I came to tell you that no weapon that is strong against me should not prosper. It won't work. It can't work. I don't care what you say. Can I get a witness? See, you got to have confidence. You got to have faith. All you need is just 
just a little muscle seed of faith. Can I get a witness in here? Yes, yes. So they took away the stone when the man was lying dead. Yes. Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, he talking to his daddy, you know, daddy can do anything. I'm talking about the Lord. He said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. God began to pray. He began to talk to the master. He knew that he was going to come through. How many know that when you speak life, it comes out of the mouth? Can I get a witness? You got to speak life to a dead situation. And tell the enemy to let you go. It seems like bills are due. Can I get a witness? It seems like everything is tied up and tangled up. But I came to tell you, it's time to come out of the grave. Somebody here been dead in a situation. But I came to tell you, Walking along with you. Every 
everywhere you're going, you just got to say, Lord, I know that you're here. You said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man come unto the Father but by him. Is there anybody in here know that God is working it out in your situation? God says that all things are working together for the good of them that love the Lord. How many know that every purpose, God has a purpose for you? That God has a plan for you? You got to tell the devil, I'm tired, I'm sick and tired. Devil, you got to flee, you got to go. I got my mind made up. And I know you might break me down. But I know there's a breakthrough that's coming my way. I wish I had somebody to hide. There's a breakthrough coming my way. Somebody that could have been dead and gone. Sleeping in their grave. But God gave me one more day. It's time to get up from the grave. How many ever had a hard time in their life? I know everybody has. Somebody here going through something and it just looked like there was no way. It looked like there was no faith. But I come to tell you that the joy of the Lord is your strength. So you can do all things through Christ that strengthen you. Come on, tell somebody say, I can do it. With God on my side. If God wasn't on my side, I couldn't do it. Can I get a witness? Sometimes it looks like your life is making it weird. It seems like that you're at the edge. But God said, if you keep praying, if you keep fasting, if you keep holding on, don't let go because he won't give up on you. Can I get a witness? Sometimes in our life we cry and we weep and moan. But the Bible says that weeping may endure for a night. But joy is going to come. In the morning light. Can I get a witness? How many are seeking God for some joy? How many are seeking God for some peace? It seems like the weight of the world is on your shoulder and you can't make it. But I come to tell you that God is not through with you yet. He said, if you keep on praying, if you keep on fasting, He got a greater reward for you. The Bible said, if you press towards the mark of the higher calling, what is in Christ Jesus? God's gonna, God is going to do it if you just believe. God's got a great reward for you. Somebody has been picked on, you've been lied on, you've been down and out. But I can't encourage you just to get up from where you are and tell the devil, I'm going to make it. Speak to your situation. Am I right about it? Sometimes when life gets so dreary and it seems so dark and feel like you're alone and nobody cares, you just want to cry sometimes. But God is wiping every tear and He answering every blessing. Will you please stand? I just came to encourage somebody just to know that whatever you're going through tonight, if you just step out, we're going to extend an altar call. And you have a Lazarus experience. You have a death experience. Feel like you lost your hope. Feel like you lost your peace. But it's time to come out right now. So whoever you are, whether you're young, middle age, old, it don't matter. We would like to extend an altar call right now. 
If you're dealing with a certain situation, we just want to declare peace over you because the peace of God that passes all understanding. If you're dealing with something in your life, don't be afraid, just give it to God. I see a lot of have a lot of young people in here. You might be going through something, even in your schoolwork, or even at home. They feel like nobody cares. But if you just make your way down to the altar, God wants to cover you with his angels. God wants to cover you with his blood. The battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. The race isn't given to the swift, nor it's given to the strong, but it's given to the one that endured it to the end.